Hey guys, it's XCTuber here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to get a sprite for free on Windows. So, a sprite is a very popular pixel art tool, and when you buy it on the website, you get the Windows, Mac, Ubuntu, and the Steam key for $15, and you also support the developer. But another option is to compile the source code uh, yourself. One downfall of this is you have to compile every update yourself and the developer tools on your computer can be uh, really big, the Visual Studio software. What you want to do is first download Python, download CMake, download Ninja, download Visual Studio, download a sprite source code, and I wrote a simple batch file uh, for the commands to compile it. And I also posted it in plain text for here in case you don't trust batch file downloads. So let's download Python, alright, CMake, let's go down, uh, Windows 64 installer, right here. So I'm going to install ninja-win.zip, save file, I'm going to download the Visual Studio Community 2017. Let's download a sprite, the latest release, source code, let's download the batch file too. Then you can just grab this text, copy it in notepad, paste it in file save, compile, command, and you want to change it to all file, and then you type in .bat. Okay, so now I'm going to run the Python installer. So since I already have it, just make sure you check the option to add it to your path. So I already have CMake. Also, for CMake, make sure to check the option to add it to your path. Extract Ninja. I'm going to open it here. It says Extract, Extract All, Extract. So now, what we want to do is go to C, Windows, and system 32 and we want to copy this ninja to this directory the C uh, Windows system 32 so I already have it right there ninja.exe and uh, adding it to this directory will mean adding it to your system path once we've done that we want to install VS community so this will take the longest time because Visual Studio is such a huge file. When I first installed this, it was just a white screen. To solve that problem, uh, keep the white screen open and then just run VS Studio installer one more time. So you have two installers and then it, will, it should solve your problem. What I want to select is the desktop development with C++ and this will have the visual C++ tools for CMake and the compiler stuff. So that's going to be about uh, six something gigs. So once we have Visual Studio installed, we want to open Visual Studio 2017. Click File, click New, click Project. So now we have three options. We want to click the first one, Windows Console Application, and click on OK just wait uh, for the project to be created now we want to click on build and click on build solution and it just runs it so build once succeeded so it doesn't really matter if it's succeeded or not but just running the build will uh, get the compiler installed X out of Visual Studio and now we want to extract our source code. Alright, it has finished extracting. So now we can run the Visual Studio Developer command prompt. 
So just search up developer command prompt. So there. Click on it. We want to drag our batch file. So either the one you downloaded from the link or the one you just created from the, the text. And you can drag it here and click on enter. So here it says please copy and paste the extracted a sprite source directory. Okay, so here is the extracted source directory. Paste it and press enter. So it runs the commands, it checks for the compiler. The compiler, uh, C compiler is working. So if you have any errors like C compiler not found, C make, C compiler, something like that, then make sure you have the ninja added to your path and your Python and your CMake added to your path and make sure you run Visual Studio uh, for the first time and uh, build the solution. There are a lot of stuff that's not found but you really don't have to worry about that. finally done. It took a really long time and I actually dozed off there for a second. Uh, so now let's exit. So the compiled files will be saved in the source folder, the build, and in uh, the bin file. So in here there are, uh, there's a data folder in the asprite.exe if you see the asprite.exe, it completed successfully. Everything else you don't need except asprite.exe and the data folder. So we can just copy this out. Copy it out and put it in this folder. Let's try running asprite. So here it is, uh, asprite 1.3 dev edition it worked. But let's try to create a new file. And yes, it works. Since this process takes a lot of time, you might just want to opt for the $15, which will help the developer and get you the fully compiled files for all the operating systems. And you don't have to worry about compiling for every update. Thanks for watching and please like, comment and subscribe. See ya.